Hello everyone, today we are discussing about popliteal fossa. Let's first discuss about surface anatomy of fossa. It's a diamond or rhomboid shaped depression lying behind the knee joint, the lower part of the femur bone and upper part of the tibia. About length is 7 to 10 cm and width is around 5 to 7 cm. Popliteal fossa consists of four borders. First, superior medially border which makes semi-tendinosus and the semi-membranosus muscle. Supplemented by the gracilis, the sartorius and the adductor magnus muscle. Superior lateral border makes by the tendon of biceps femoris. Inferior lateral border makes by the lateral head of the gastrocnemius supplemented by the plantaris. Inferior medial border makes by the medial head of the gastrocnemius muscle. Lawyer by lawyer topography of the posterior area of the knee. The skin is thin and mobile. The fat is well defined. This one has terminal branches of the cutaneous nervous, superficial popliteal lymph nodes. The superficial fascia lines the fatty tissues from the inside sediments. The popliteal fascia is dense. It's a continuation of the fascia lato of the thigh, passes downwards into cruel fascia. It has holes for passion vessels and nerves. Between the heights of the gastrocnemicals muscle in the split, the small saphenous vein of the leg passes through the popliteal fascia. In the area of the popliteal fossa, it pieces the deep layer of fascia and drains into the popliteal vein. Now we discuss popliteal vessels and tibial nerve, which crosses fossa vertically. Tibial nerve is superficial, then popliteal vein, and then popliteal artery is deeper. In fossa, from medial to lateral, there is upper part, the artery, vein and nerve. In middle and lower part, there is nerve, vein and artery continues. Now about nerves. First, common peroneal nerve, which is branch of sciatic nerve, which goes from apex of fossa to lateral side and follow medial border of the vices femoris. Tibial nerve, which is main nerve of fossa, larger terminal branch of sciatic nerve. Extend from superior angle to inferior angle of the fossa, crossing popliteal vessels from lateral to medial side and continue back of leg. It has three genicular or articular branches in upper part of the fossa. First superior medial genicular nerve lies above medial condyle of femur deep to the muscle. Middle genicular nerve which pierces posterior part of the capsule of knee joint to supply intercondylar notch of the femur. And third is inferior medial genicular nerve lies along upper border of the popliteus muscle and reach inferior to the medial condyle of tibia. And it also gives some muscular branches in distal part of the fossa for lateral and medial heads of the gastrocnemius, soleus, plantaris and popliteus. Now about popliteal vein which begin at lower border of popliteus muscle by union of anterior and posterior tibial vein and continues as the femoral vein at opening in the adductor hiatus. It receives a small saphenous vein and superior lateral and medial genicular nerves, middle sural veins and inferior medial and lateral genicular veins. Now we come to the popliteal artery. It continuation of femoral artery begin at opening of hiatus magnus. It runs downward and slightly laterally and terminates at lower border of popliteus by dividing into anterior and posterior tibial artery. It gives several large muscular branches. Upper branches supply adductor magnus and hamstring muscle and terminates by anastomosing with fourth perforating artery of profunda femoral artery. Cutaneous branches also given directly from popliteal artery or from the muscular branches. And after this genicular branches 5 in number, 2 superior, 2 middle and 2 inferiorly. Medial and lateral superior genicular arteries wind around corresponding side of the femur above condyle and pass deep to the hamstring. Medial and lateral inferior genicular artery winds around tibial condyle and pass deep to the collateral ligament of knee. All these arteries reach in front of this knee and take part in anastomosis around knee. Now about lymphatics. It contains superficial popliteal lymph node and superficial lymphatic vessels which pass through tendinous hiatus and terminate into the deep inguinal lymph node. Now about lymphatics. There is deep, deep popliteal lymph node and deep lymphatic vessels which associated closely with popliteal vessels which terminate deep to the inguinal lymph nodes. Now the deepest part of the fossa that is the floor which is from above and downward, made by popliteal surface of femur, capsule of knee joint and oblique popliteal ligament 
and popliteus muscle covered by its fascia. Now in the last, about purulent processes, the pus can spread in the following directions. Along the course of the popliteal artery up into the adductor canal that is into the medial muscle bed of the thigh. Second, along the tibial and sciatic nerve up into the posterior muscle bed of the thigh and into the cellular space under the gluteus maximus muscle. Then along the popliteal artery and tibial nerve down into the ankle popliteal canal under the tendon arc of the soleus muscle that is into the deep posterior facial bed of the leg. From the ankle popliteal canal, it is also possible for pus to spread along the anterior tibial artery into the anterior facial bed of the leg. Into the superficial posterior facial bed or into the space between the deep fascia of the leg and soleus muscle or into the space between the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. Thank you so much. This is all detailed information about popliteal fossa.